All right, welcome back to the House of Speed. We're gonna dive on into this. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been thinking about that in your head? Like 10 seconds. Nice. So we teased today, we released a video about the Wise Fab in our E4673 rod ring replacement video, but now we're actually gonna go in and show you all the details about these sweet super mods from Wise Fab. So these trailing arms are replacements for E46 and E36, and they're sick. So does anybody actually need these? No. Are they a sick AF mod? Yes. So if you're like me and run out of mods, these are for you. So here's the original kit we have. This is like an E46 trailing arm with our dual caliper kit. The Willwoods mount here, your little stock calipers mount there. And you have like this big old cast thing and uh, it just does things. It does never really has an issue. Uh, now you got a little bit of adjustment. They run, it does toe. They run good. Uh, one, of the, one of the big upsides of this kit is that no longer do you have to push the, the wheel bearings in and out, you just bolt them on. So that's cool, easier for servicing. Also, toe adjustment is done with like spinning this thing, which spins this round thing in there, which then slides this piece around. So it's like a multi-piece dealio. I haven't actually used it yet, so we're, we're, we're kind of get learning as we're going here, but this is like how you meter how far out you have it. But essentially, it's much easier toe adjustment on the fly. Let me see if I can grab an Allen wrench and kind of show you guys this real quick. That'll probably be better, right? Yeah, I mean, you use thingy-mabobber a lot in that, so. Yeah, right, yeah. All right, take two. Whoa. Another really cool thing about this uh, kit is the toe adjustment. There's no more like sliding stuff back with a screwdriver and stuff like that like you do currently on an E46, E36. You just spin this and it's gonna adjust the toe. There's like a little caster in here or something like that you wanna call it. Here, put it on the table so you stop moving around and we can see it. So. Okay. Here's like your gauge essentially, maybe for on the fly go, let's say you wanna go, I need some more toe in, Bobby. You just give her that. You want some toe out? Yeehaw, you really can skyjack her. Oh, Jesus. Yes, yeah, so you have a huge range of adjustment here, which is pretty sweet. Um, also, this is like way beefier, and that's like a common weak point of the E46, is these flex slot actually can crack. I actually seam weld mine up here originally. These are not mine, but uh, I actually welded these to make them stronger, but these are way beefier construction, so that'll increase stiffness. Um, there's also a anti-squat change. So if you spin this piece in this position, facing forward, there's much more anti-squat, meaning the driveline power makes the car squat less. If you spin it the other way, it goes back to factory anti-squat. So, oh my lord. Whoa. So essentially you have the adjustment of more anti-squat or factory. Uh, I'm gonna go with more anti-squat because mods. I'm just kidding, no guys. She uh, thick. <laughs> yeah, I mean the car has an ignorant amount of power. Uh, just I think it'll help with my handling overall. And again, these are for these are a drift-oriented knuckle that I am demented and used for mostly time attack because I grew up racing cars and I just like time attacking. One day I'll I basically made the car tell myself I'll drift it, then I now don't want to hit walls with it, and I'm just like I'm good. So we got the E94. That's what we got the E94. Winter project. So to recap, super sick mod, anti-squat adjustment, easy to change wheel bearing, spherical ball joints everywhere as you could probably expect from a wise fat product, and some super schnazzy toe adjustment. I say those are the top main big things for the wise fab side of things. Also, isn't it kind of a drop knuckle? Although we haven't confirmed how much. I don't really know. I don't think so, maybe, who knows. These are things that are more like TBD, because I mean, wise fab doesn't give us, the instructions are kind of vague. Um, but on our side, what we want to do is the factory setup uses essentially, it calls for a 330 rotor and 330 calipers, E46. Those like we know, like are not good. Like we used to have dual caliper brackets that use factory calipers and you have to throw your whole body into it to lock them up. So like maybe, who knows? People will argue like, oh, they work great. I don't think so. And because mods, we are doing my car first. So my car already has a massive 355 millimeter rear caliper, I'm sorry, rotor, and these SD40 calipers. So we're, we made brackets to run for them all around, just like some nerds over at like Papadakis Racing would on that, uh, that Supra that wins everything. 
So here are brackets. We did some slight adjustments to the original model um, as they were kind of, the Wise Fab arm came a little bit different than we expected, so we're making adjustments to the pieces. That's totally kind of fine. That's and development. That's development. We just had this, some support bracing that obviously the stock one doesn't have, so you just gotta notch them out. Yeah. Live and learn, nothing yeah. new. So the sweet, these are 6061. They're milled, obviously. Yeah. They're a sweet aluminum bracket that we make in New York and yeah, they so, hold big calipers. So these things are use them hold. for a long time. They work sweet. Yeah, so my car is gonna have these calipers. Obviously the calipers are upside down right now. We're just test fitting stuff. Um, next on, once we get this in the car, we're going to make our other kit, which is right here. We thought these were gonna work, but they need slight modifications, but that's not gonna be a big deal at all. Essentially, we're gonna cut these a little bit and fit them up so they use a Willwood radial mount uh, caliper and the E36 M3 rotor. So it's much more budget friendly and kind of more available for guys who are drifting more often. And you get the pros of a, you know, upgraded caliper and the no cons such as like long lead times or really expensive calipers from StopTech. So it's more of a kind of a drift oriented thing. This is kind of just me trying to like ball out, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, it's, like, you're just doing mods to do mods at this point. It's yeah. like, how sweet can I make it? And that's basically as sweet as you can make it. Yeah. So as far as mods go, mods, um, let's go over to the car and we'll show you what we got to do. I think yeah, we gotta grab those weld in plates. We'll show yeah, them we'll what like you got to cut out. We'll like maybe put these in. I'm already doing mods, so you might as well do all the mods. So I got these pieces from Garagistic. They kind of like sort of fit in there. Because Will know. or Wisefab wants you to cut out part of the body. Yeah, they want you to cut out part of the body. And especially in E36, the R-Tab uh, mounts are like made of tissue paper. So. I'm yes. going to lift this up a little bit so you can see better. You're good to go. All right, cool. So, as one can see, my big AF tires are rubbing. That's kind of normal. Um, I cut the body more earlier this year and never sealed it up because I'm lazy and we weren't sure how big we we're going to need it to go. And we already have adjustable arms on here. This is my 488 subframe we have available in the online store. Um, these are wise have lower arms, Nerve Tech upper arms. Nothing's really wore out, so we just kind of like unbolted them. And then this is the G-Force upgraded axle we have that, will be, that we will be using with our wise fab kit. We already make billet inner and outer stubs, the 88, and also billet outer, outer stubs we use for axles with the normal diff, um, all available in our online store. That are super beefy, use Porsche 930 type CVs. Check it out, sick mods. Anyway, we have this piece here, which is supposed to like weld in here to give the body more rigidity. That doesn't really fit that good, does it? Oh, uh, it's, no, to be honest. No, it doesn't really fit that good. It doesn't fit because great. Because Wisehub, Wisehub wants us to cut out like a big, like this whole like inner area sort of, or at least a piece of it. Why did they want that again? It's to fit that. Uh, oh, the bigger. Toe adjustment the thing. Toe adjustment thing and the uh, roll, not the roll center, the anti squat adjustment thing is just a little bit taller, I believe. So I might weld these in. I might not. I'm not really sure yet. Um, but we're definitely going to cut this stuff out anyway. So that's one, of, I guess, the negatives of the kit is you do have to cut apart the body. But I mean, that's something. If you're installing these arms, you're probably already pretty used to cutting up your guns, so, <laughs> like, Yeah, this is not like. <laughs> I have a stock E46 M3 that I've never touched. Yeah, like for example, here, like, exhibit A, my frame rail cut off, not my frame, my body and white notch so my control arm can go up. This just goes like, like so there, because you gotta get this thing slammed or you're not sick. <laughs> <laughs> here's, my, here's the billet stuff. Yeah. This is a really early prototype I'd literally spray painted. It was just billet. But our billet stubs use a custom, uh, ABS ring. They're made of uh, that like. Thing's probably like five years old. Isn't so it? it's made of like 300M. They're gnarly. I've never had an issue. We still have the original axles from prototyping on this car. She runs nice good. Bench. So I have also in here like some some like upgraded bushings and stuff that essentially Wise has replacing with their whole system. So one of the upsides of this kit is you don't have to do all the art kits to do it. Yeah, it's kind of just one and done. Yeah, so you can kind of go from nothing to something pretty quick. This is the current setup see it all together. 
the tire that's really polishing that metal. <laughs> Just a little bit. It's crazy. What if my wheel bearing was out and it was like moving around a little bit? No, I think that's just the tire deforming under load, probably. Ah, uh, yeah. But, yeah. Need some body work. This is like... Some winter love. This car is just beat, just beat, like we just beat up this car. It gets, like, when we build things, we just cut things and hammer them. Well, sometimes you just gotta make it work. Yeah. As you can see here, if you guys don't notice, I welded these back with my uh, with my flux core back in the day. I made these so super probably sick. Probably made them weaker. Probably made them weaker, but in my mind they were stronger, so <laughs> therefore I drove faster. All right, so going back to these Y stab knuckles. You gotta cut the body to do this stuff. Well, let's go put that up in the hole and see how big it is. All right, let's put the little thing of bob in there. Yeah, I couldn't undo that one by hand. Is this one looser? I don't really know. All right, let's just grab this up. Fuck it. I'll grab this one. I don't know what size is which. Oh, it doesn't fit bad at all. I see what the mini I cut it though. So I'm having problems right now clearing like this area to get over to where the bolts are. Oh, actually, that's like toe adjustment though. So maybe I can just like spin this this way. I need to like block out the light up there. So toe adjustment's gonna be on the inside, I guess. This doesn't look that bad, guys. I think we might just be fine. I'm gonna put it all together. Yeah, in, we gotta put next, that other in piece in. Oh my God. Whoa. In the next episode, we'll put this in the car. Make sure we have to cut things. Wise well, times direction says we do have to cut things, so I assume we actually do, but. You know, we'll leave that to the last second, of course. Classic. All right, episode one, why is Fat Barms? And surprisingly, well, these are two pounds lighter. Oh, yeah, one, one last thing. They are lighter. I think Weight savings. It? Two pounds over stock? Two pounds over stock, yeah. yeah. That's just trailing arms, wheel bearings, and hubs. And these things, too. And the outside, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But, I mean. I'm gaining when like you add that, pounds. it's definitely a lot of... Unsprung mass is like my... Best crux, friend? Crux, I would say. It just like, my car has like work wheels that weigh 900 pounds, tires that weigh 300 pounds, calipers that weigh another 400 pounds. Yeah, I don't know, man. Just the life you live in. Yeah, that's what power's for. Make power, for yeah, exactly. It's like Ferrari. All right, well, double chop. Double chop. Install it next time. All right, Kyle, what, is, what are you saying at the end? What? God, he's so bad. You're supposed to say like and subscribe, Kyle. Subscribe or die. Whoa. <laughs> Kyle said or else, but you hit him with the die. That's, that's a lot. That's a, we don't mean that. We don't mean that. <laughs>